This Chinese city is so advanced, it's run by AI. We're talking about Shenzhen. 13 million people controlled by algorithms that never sleep. Every traffic light, every bus, every building managed by artificial intelligence in real time. And you're about to see exactly how it works. Here's what happens when an entire city becomes one giant machine. The AI brain. You're standing inside Shenzhen's command center. Wall-to-wall -wall screens stretch across a room the size of a football field. Each one shows a different part of the city, pulsing with data. This is the brain. 100,000 cameras feed into this system every single second. Millions of sensors embedded in roads, buildings, and streetlights. All of it connected to a single AI network. And it's watching everything. Traffic jams forming three miles away. The AI already knows. It's changing traffic lights right now to redirect the flow. An accident on the highway? Emergency services are dispatched before anyone calls. The algorithm predicted it from sudden brake patterns and vehicle clustering. You're watching response times that are 40% faster than any human dispatcher could manage. But it's not just emergencies. Water sprayers activate on that block within 60 seconds. The entire city breathes as one organism. Every decision it makes, every traffic pattern it sees, every emergency it handles, it gets smarter. 13 million people generating data every moment of every day. The system uses all of it. You're looking at a city that literally thinks, but that's just the control room. On the streets, the technology gets even more wild. Smart infrastructure everywhere. You step outside and realize something unsettling. You're being tracked, not by people, by the city itself. Look up at any corner and you'll see them. Smart poles, they're everywhere. These aren't just streetlights. Each one is a technological Swiss army knife standing 30 feet tall. 5G antennas giving you internet speeds that would make your home Wi-Fi weep. Facial recognition cameras that scan every face that passes. Environmental sensors measuring air quality, temperature, noise levels. LED screens displaying real-time information. Electric vehicle charging ports. Emergency call buttons. All of it powered by AI. All of it connected to that central brain. Shenzhen has 20,000 of these poles. They cover every major street in the city. You can't walk more than 100 feet without passing one. Now you're heading to the metro. You approach the turnstile and something strange happens. You don't pull out a ticket. You don't even slow down. The camera sees your face and the gate opens. You're in. The metro system knows you're here and it already knows where you're going. How? Because the AI has been tracking passenger patterns for years. It knows that at 8.15 on a Tuesday morning, 3,000 people board at this station. It knows which trains fill up and which ones don't. So 30 minutes ago, it adjusted the schedule. You won't even notice the wait because there isn't one. Six million people ride this metro every single day. The on-time rate, 99.8%. You heard that right. The system is so precise that delays are measured in seconds, not minutes. But here's where it gets really insane. The buses don't have drivers. You board an autonomous bus that navigates through traffic like it's been driving these routes for decades, which, in a way, it has. The AI has absorbed millions of miles of driving data. It knows every pothole, every tight turn, every pedestrian crossing, and it's coordinating with every other autonomous vehicle in real time. They're talking to each other. One bus hits unexpected traffic. The three buses behind it automatically reroute. No human intervention needed. Now you're walking into your apartment building. Again, no keys. The door recognizes your face and unlocks. Inside, the temperature is exactly how you like it. The AI learned your preferences weeks ago. It knows you like it cooler in the morning, warmer in the evening. The lights adjust based on the time of day and how much sunlight is coming through your windows. The elevator, it's already waiting on your floor. The building AI predicted you'd be coming up right about now. Every single building in Shenzhen's central districts operates like this. The results are staggering. Energy consumption is down 30 to 40% across the entire city. 
That's the equivalent of powering a city of 4 million people just eliminated. You never search for parking anymore. The system tells you exactly where the open spots are before you arrive. You never carry cash or cards. Your face is your wallet. Restaurants, shops, taxis, everything. Scans your face and charges your account. Two seconds and you're done. You're living inside a machine that anticipates your every move. And the crazy part? You're starting to forget what life was like before. But the real technological marvel isn't how you live. It's how the city builds everything you use. The factories run themselves. You're standing at the port of Shenzhen. It's three in the morning, and there's almost nobody here. That should terrify you. Because this port moves 30 million containers every single year. That's enough cargo to circle the Earth 11 times, if you line them up. And it's running with barely any humans. Look up! Those massive cranes towering 15 stories above you? They're moving on their own. AI-controlled giants lifting 40-ton containers like their cardboard boxes. They never get tired. They never make mistakes. They never stop. The AI choreographs every movement with millimeter precision. One crane picks up a container in Los Angeles. And before that ship even docks in Shenzhen, the system already knows exactly where that container needs to go. Which truck will carry it? Which warehouse will store it? Which factory needs what's inside? It's all calculated before the container touches land. The result? This port operates 50% faster than traditional ports. 50%. Ships that used to wait days for unloading are done in hours. But that's just the beginning. Drive 15 miles inland, and you'll find something that looks like science fiction. Factory districts, stretching for miles. And here's what makes your jaw drop. The lights are off. These are... Lights out factories. They don't need illumination because there's nobody inside to see. Just robots. Thousands of them. Working in complete darkness. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. No lunch breaks, no shift changes, no human error. You're watching a DJI drone factory assemble 500 drones per hour. Robotic arms moving so fast, they're almost blurring. Each one performing its task with accuracy measured in microns. That's one millionth of a meter. AI quality control cameras inspect every single component. They catch defects that human eyes couldn't see even with magnification. A microscopic crack in a circuit board? Detected and rejected in 0.3 seconds. The defect rate in these factories is less than 1%. In traditional manufacturing, it's closer to 5. But here's what really matters. Speed. A factory in Detroit might produce 100 units per day. These factories in Shenzhen? 10,000. Same product, same quality. 100 times faster. This is why Shenzhen produces 90% of the world's electronics components. Not because labor is cheap. Because the AI is unstoppable. Your smartphone? Built here. Your laptop? Here. Your wireless earbuds? Smartwatch? Tablet? All here. Every major tech company has manufacturing in Shenzhen for one reason. The AI makes it impossible to compete anywhere else. Walk into an electronics warehouse and witness something that looks like a swarm. 3,000 robots moving in perfect coordination. They're retrieving items, packing boxes, loading trucks. The central AI assigns tasks based on priority, location, and efficiency. Not a single movement is wasted. A robot on the east side needs to cross to the west? The AI has already cleared a path through the other 2,999 robots. They part, like a school of fish. The warehouse processes 50,000 orders per day, with a staff of 12 humans. 12. Their job? To handle the exceptions the AI can't figure out yet. But those exceptions are getting rarer every month. This is the real reason. Made in Shenzhen dominates global tech. Not the factories, the intelligence running them. But the most mind-bending technology isn't in the factories or the port. It's moving through the streets right now. Autonomous everything. You're standing on a street corner watching something impossible. A bus just drove past you. No driver. The seat is empty. This isn't a test vehicle. This is the regular bus. 
carrying 60 passengers. Completely autonomous. Now here's the part that breaks your brain. There are 16,000 buses in Shenzhen. Every single one is electric, zero emissions, and hundreds of them drive themselves. You watch another one glide past. It stops at a red light with perfect timing. A car cuts in front of it. The bus predicts the move before it happens and adjusts speed. No horn, no panic, and to the traffic lights, and to the central AI. Now look down the street. That small vehicle weaving between pedestrians? Delivery robot, three feet tall, carrying someone's lunch order. It navigates around people, stops at crosswalks, gives way to wheelchairs. Thousands of these robots make deliveries across Shenzhen every day. Look up, you hear a soft humming sound. A drone carrying a package 200 feet above the street. Shenzhen has drone highways in the sky. Invisible lanes managed by AI to avoid collisions. Your package ordered at noon arrives by 1220, not to your building, to your actual apartment balcony. Here's where it all comes together. The buses, the delivery robots, the drones, the autonomous taxis. They're all coordinated by the same central AI. Every vehicle is one node in a massive network. When an autonomous bus turns left, every vehicle within half a mile knows instantly. They adjust automatically. Vehicle to infrastructure communication at the speed of light. The result? Traffic incidents down 95% in autonomous zones. Not because vehicles drive carefully, because they see everything at once. You're watching a transportation system that drives itself better than humans ever could. 13 million people moving through a city where the machines do everything. This is what happens when you let AI run a city. Every system synchronized. Every decision made in milliseconds. Every inefficiency eliminated. Shenzhen isn't the future. It's today. And it's been working perfectly for years.